So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you this 15 essential tips and tricks for your Microsoft Outlook. So to make sure you're using the new version, you should see this landing page. And then versus the old one, it's going to be more classic looking. It's going to be more um, old looking, perhaps. So this is going to be a new modern look of it. And basically, let's start with the first one. So to know which is going to be if you're using the new one or new Outlook or old one, you'll see that button right there that says new Outlook. If you click on it, you'll go back to your old one, which is a bit more grayed out. It's a bit more um, gray looking. And we'll start with the first um, tip and trick here. It's going to be pinning emails. Now, for example, I want to pin this specific email from Spotify. I can just simply click on that pin icon right there and it will go up on the top of my list. So since I already have one previous e pin email, it will go as a second one. But don't matter how many emails I got. For example, I just received a new one. This two right here will still be on top. And that is pinning emails for you. Second is utilizing my day. Basically, my day is this option right there that says my day. If you click on it, you'll see this calendar. Now, for example, you drag an email here and paste it over there. A new window will pop up which is this one. Basically, you can work with it. You can add people. For example, you can add some people right there that you can work with or you want to send this specific email to. Basically, you're just writing an email so you don't have to write everything from scratch. That's the power of my day for you. You can even response options right there. 15 minutes before, everything is good here. You can even do this, change the color for calendar or set it on your calendar date. This one right here, you can do some alarms. That is how you use this one. So let me just close this, discard it. Now that being said, let's move on with the next one. So if you click on this option that says open calendar, you will open your calendar section. And in this one, you'll see add the calendar. So for this new um, Outlook 2024, there's an option now to add holidays and sports. So for example, let's just say I am a fan of PGA, Professional Golf Ping Association, or if I'm wrong. And now I'm just going to select a team. It's now loading a little bit because there are a lot of teams out there and the data is for Microsoft Sports. So I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. I just selected NBA instead because PGA is taking a very long time. Anyway, for NBA, for example, I want to select Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks reminder will be added on my calendar. So let's check it right now. As you can see right there, Dallas Mavericks or this specific Dallas Mavericks is inside it. How good is that, right? Now, next thing, actually, this next feature is my favorite. So for example, you're writing an email. Let me just write an email right there. And then I am writing it on my customer service. And then, for example, I, I, I wrote, uh, for example, I composed a bad email. And then I accidentally send it. For example, I want to send this one and I want to get it back. Rather, basically, I want to unsend it. So you, the first thing you want to do about this one is this is the first thing you want to do about all us. So click on settings. You'll open up this part of the section. Click on general. Look for this specific settings right here. Compose and reply, and under it, there is an do send. So you can adjust it for 0 to 5 seconds or 10 seconds. I suggest go for 10, click on save, and now all future emails can be unsent. For example, this one, let me just send it. And you'll see right there, there is an undo option. There is a 10 second window to undo this. So I suggest doing this at the very first part of your Outlook email before you do anything else. Next up is scheduling emails. Now to schedule an email, it would look like this. For example, you're writing back. Let me just click new email right there. That says schedule sent. Click on schedule send. You'll check if you can send it tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, or even custom time. You can specify the date. It's just like setting up an alarm clock. Basically click send if you're satisfied. And this email will go into the draft section and it will be sent based on the time and date you've placed. Moving on for signature, for example, you don't want to manually write everything again. For example, regards, best regards and thankful for something like that. 
you can simply use this button, drag it down, click on signatures, and you'll open this up. You can create a new signature. So edit signature still, let's just, let's just say, I'm gonna type it sample. For my signature, I'm gonna, of course, edit it as uh, lower part, best regards, something like that, like so. Or I can just put my details here, for example, um, contact number, email, and then address, something like that. So for new messages, you can click this one, make sure everything is good. You can also, of course, since this is a signature, type it or make sure you draw something here as a signature, like so. That is how you do this one. Moving on, you can always choose for BBC or always from, make sure you choose one of each. Edit the font type and font size for this one. And compose messages, of course, in HTML. Make sure you choose HTML for this one. And that being said, you're good to go for your emails. Click save and you'll be perfect to go. You don't have to manually type everything again and this will be saved moving forward. Moving on for mentions. So for example, you're typing an email, right? If you use the at logo right there and you choose a specific person, it will go automatically on your um sending or to, to um list. And then check this out, something like that. And this person will now check your email. That is going to be the, another option for you. And the next tips, next tip is going to be this rules, which is actually pretty important. This rules right there, for example, I'm going to create rule. Now for this one, I'm going to go for, let's just say inbox. Okay. You can also choose more options right there if you want. And then this is going to be the new rule. Move all messages from Outlook Tim to inbox. Condition is from, I'm not going to change it, but for if you want, you can choose everything here. Um, Outlook team, of course, you can add another condition, of course. These are the options. Again, same as the first one. And then, of course, add action. You can delete them. Everything that you receive from Outlook will be deleted. You can move them or forward them as it is. And then you, there's an option right there, start processing more rules. So for this one, you need to uncheck this. After that one, simply click on save and you'll be good to go. Let me just remove that because I don't want to add some rules. Anyway, moving on. For example, you have a lot of emails here, right? Let me just open my other Outlook. Give me a second here. Now, this is going to be my other Outlook. And then for this one, if you want to remove all inbox, for example, you have hundreds, thousands, maybe. Use this button that says sweep. And basically move all messages from inbox folder. Move to... For example, archive or create your folder right there. Name the folder, for example, sample folder. Click save and click on OK. So all of my messages are now inside my sample folder. Basically, it's just a move option on your windows and you can use it on Outlook. So moving on, creating groups. If you click on this people action right there, you will open up this option or basically you're going to create a group. Like so, for example, you want to add a contact, import contacts. And then create a member right there for groups. And basically, if you're writing an email now, for example, I'm going to write a new mail right there. You can just simply type the group name right here. For example, group name one. And then all of the people in group name one will be emailed of your lease. So let's try creating one. Again, I'm going to be owner. Create new group. And then add your group name. Sample one. Description. Just say sample. Create. And basically for this one, you can just add people on your group. That's the idea here. Now, for the last tip for you, for example, let me just add one people there just for discussion purpose. Let me just remove this. Anyway, some last bonus tip for you guys since you stayed at the end of the video. This search bar right here is pretty powerful. Let me just use my other email or outlook. So this search bar right there is pretty powerful. For example, you type in um file. All of the file in your email will go here. Basically, it's your filter. You can filter it from the date to anyone here. You can search it up. You can even type everything here and then filter it as it is. So please utilize this one. You can choose folders for inbox, junk email. So you can um, search everything very thoroughly. Moving on for managing email accounts. So click on this settings icon because if you want to add some more emails, just click add account or you want to manage your email, 
this is how you do it, okay? Pretty powerful also. So next up is going to be automatic replies for this one. So make sure you're in email and then automatic replies right there. Basically enable this one and type everything here. For example, you're on leave. Set, send replies only during this period on your leave period. If not, you can just automatically decline new invitations. But for now, if you want everything to be automatic, type in something, sample reply, something like that. And then send replies only to contacts. There's an option also here. So click on save and automatic replies will be sent for anyone who emailed you. That's basically it. So another tip for you is if you click on settings, under general, there is going to be appearance. So you can change the appearance of your outlook. Basically, everything here is free. If I choose mountain right there, click on save. My outlook appearance will be changed into mountains. So it's loading a little while right now because it's still loading. But anyway, I've just changed my appearance. Another thing to take note of is notifications, this option right here. You can check all of your notifications on this option right there. If you click on the settings and click on general, so notifications make sure this is are enabled because it's pretty important to receive very updated notifications. And that being said, basically those are things, tips and tricks for you guys to take note of. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.